Make sure to come out and support the MAGPRO Awards Governor's Employee Recognition Program. 2K and 5K Fun Run Walk Saturday morning at Chamorro Village. Showtime is at 5.15 in the morning with go time scheduled for 6. There will be a Halloween costume contest for individuals or group. There will also be raffle prizes and refreshments. For more information, contact Mercy Munya at 646-4361 Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. This year's IFL football championship game will be played Saturday night at the GW Field at 7 p.m. The undefeated father, Duenas Friars, take on the George Washington Geckos for the title. FD enters the game unbeaten, while the Geckos enter the game with only one loss on their record, coming from the Friars late in the season. Turning over to some surfing and bodyboarding news, the Monster Energy Drink Surf the Basin 7 contest, which was scheduled for Saturday, is now held on over to November 7th. Recent swells in the past week produced by the passage of Tropical Storm Champion have subsided and forecast based on wind directions show little to no surf at Aganyabo Basin on Halloween Day. Current weather forecasts show the beginning of tropical disturbance forming south of Chuk and Pompeii, which may, through the course of the coming week, bring some swells to Guam. That could be contest quality if wave conditions are not optimal on November 7th. The next holdover date will be on November 14th. In softball news, two Guam Masters softball squads represented their Pacific Island nation commendably, ending in third and eighth place overall in the LVSSA slash SSUSA World Masters Championship 2015 Men's 40 Plus Masters AAA Division. The Guam teams competed in a 24 team field to rank in the top 10. But like Guam, consisting of former Guam Major League standouts and other seasoned softball veterans earned third place honors by winning six of its final seven games in the three-day tournament. Tournament director Duff Robbins presented the Guam contingent with a third place plaque and medals, commending them for an exceptional tournament. He highly commended the support both Guam teams received from friends, families, and newcomers who numbered in the hundreds each game and were the most intense crowd among all participants in any division. Sindalu Guahan, consisting of Guam Army Reservists and National Guardsmen, fought tough but got eliminated by a Hawaii squad 22-20 in its final October 24th game. Sindalu Guahan scored 10 runs in its last at-bat and had the winning run at the plate before getting stopped. 